everyone, this is Carla from DIY Happy Home and I'm here today to make one of my favorite recipes. Uh, it is uh, a recipe for peanut butter bars. I originally uh, started working on this recipe because in my school cafeteria they served peanut butter bars and I could not find any recipe similar to the one in my uh, high school cafeteria. And so I just kept making peanut butter bar recipe after peanut butter bar recipe. And then I finally settled on this one. I liked it. However, I did since then find the school peanut butter bar recipe. But this one I do tend to still go back to. I stu still do really enjoy this recipe. It's kind of like, a, there's no chocolate in it. It's kind of like a peanut butter brownie. So um, let, let's go through the steps and I'll show you how I make it. It stays nice and soft. It's almost like a peanut butter cookie, a soft peanut butter cookie in a bar form, if that makes any sense. You want to put in a third cup of the butter softened and, and then you put in a half a cup of peanut butter. And I am just going to eyeball the peanut butter. You don't have to have it down to like a science here. Um, I know with baking you usually do, but with the peanut butter part, I just wing it and throw some in. Um, I'm using Jif peanut butter today. Um, I don't know if it'll turn out as well with the natural peanut butters. I think I have made it with the natural ones. Um, I normally like natural peanut butter for sandwiches and things, but sometimes it doesn't turn out when you bake with them. So, anyway. All right, so I've got about a half a cup of peanut butter in there, probably a little more. A third cup of the butter softened. And now I'm gonna put in two thirds cup of white sugar. But instead of using all full sugar, I'm gonna do one third cup of regular sugar. And I'm going, here's the third cup of regular sugar. My kids are fighting over the computer still. Oh, Lordy be. It's gonna be a long couple weeks. And then I'm gonna use a third cup of the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. This is a one-to-one -one sugar replacement. I just wanna cut back on a little bit of the sugar. So I'm gonna put this a third of this in to make two-third cup. And then I've got a, a half, uh-oh, low battery. Oh, this isn't gonna go far. I've got a half a cup of brown sugar. That's firmly packed brown sugar. And we're going to add two eggs. But I'm going to whisk that together first before. Let's clean up my area here before I add that. I'm also going to add some. I love vanilla extract. It says half a teaspoon. I'm just going to put a bunch in. I really like extra vanilla usually. And let's mix this up. I have my oven temperature set to 350 degrees and we're just going to use our hand mixer you could mix this by hand too you don't have to have a hand mixer I have done that and it's turned out great uh, but here you know, let's mix this cream these together I have an 8 by 8 pan set aside over here that I've buttered and then I've also added a little sleeve of parchment to it so that I could pull uh, the bars out when they are done for easier slicing. I like to get this nice and creamy before I add my eggs. I'm making peanut butter bars. Yay! Yummy, yummy. These peanut butter bars are good if you love peanut butter. Tell you, mm. and you know, for me, sometimes I don't feel like making the cookies. All right, I'm whisking my two eggs. These happen to be like large. I think these are jumbo eggs, but you know, use use two large eggs. If that's what you have. And let's mix these up. Let's add this in. Okay. 
you want to whip this till it's fluffy and it gets a little bit lighter in color. Although this time I think my brown sugar is a little bit darker than the usual. Let me scrape down the bowl once here. This picks up pretty quickly. And for the most part, it's things that you would have at home. So if you don't have chocolate chips, you can still have a treat, which I like. Here we go. Let's find a scraper here. Sorry, I'm in my little tool area here. Let me scrape some of this. I always like to get everything incorporated here and you can see some of my butter is not incorporated. I wish we had smell video because this smells so good. And if you're allergic to peanut butter, you could use any nut butter here. I think it would work just fine. Um, and I always feel sad for anybody that's allergic to peanut butter because I just love peanut butter. But you could use, you know, sun butter. You could probably use honey roasted peanut butter and just cut back maybe on the sugar a little bit. Can't get it off my scraper there. Let's do a little bit more. As you can see, it did get a little bit lighter in color. Okay. And now we're going to add flour. One cup of all-purpose flour. And here I have it here. And we're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Let me get my teaspoon here. And just sprinkle that in. Baking powder. Not to be confused with baking soda in this case. Baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You have to have that salt to counteract the sweet. I'm using kosher salt in this case, but just use whatever you got. There's the salt, sprinkle that in. And then quickly mix that. Don't over mix, you don't want your flour. You want a tender, tender peanut butter bar. So I'm just gonna do a quick Mix in. It, it, it ends up with a pretty thick batter, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna hand mix the rest in. Let's try to get some of this. I always fling it off the beaters because I'm impatient. Uh, let's do a get my scraper again and scrape down and hand mix the rest of the flour in so we don't overwork the dough. Okay. Here's my pan that's been buttered. Let me make sure I had everything. Did I get the vanilla? Yes, I did. Okay, everything's in. I always double check my recipe at the end. Because uh, I could definitely, with all these distractions with the kids, easily forget something. So as you can see, it's a really thick batter. It smells very peanut buttery. And move that over to here so you guys can see. Been baking a lot since the kids are home. I've been making a lot of, and I'll probably try to come in and show you guys just a lot of different muffins. I actually made muffins out of pumpkin spice pancake mix that I had. Boy, they turned out great. I put some shredded carrot in them and cherry infused cranberries. I'm trying to use up things that I've had at my pantry and, uh, 
I put some shredded carrot, like I said, and they turned out terrific. I was actually shocked. Uh, and then I have some oat bran cereal that I made muffins out of, and I might actually uh, do that one for you guys. There's no flour in it, it's just oat bran that's used. And uh, they turned out fabulous too. I put a little bit of those mini M&Ms in them, uh, the baking M&Ms and some chocolate chips and not a lot, just a little bit. And all it takes is a little bit of chocolate and my kids are like, these are great. And uh, I like the fact that they were fairly healthy. So you just spread it out. And I'm going to bake this in the 350 degree oven. I will show you how they look when they come out. Oh, I got a chunk of brown sugar in there, so somebody's going to get a little bit extra brown sugar. It didn't mix up. Sometimes that happens with my brown sugar. I don't know why that is, but okay. Uh, I'll be back to show you uh, what it looks like when it's done, but again, 350 degrees. Uh, I generally will make sure that it looks like it's it's um, risen in the middle, and you can always put a toothpick uh, to see if the toothpick comes out clean, then it's done. Uh, last time, it was around 29 minutes, 30 minutes or so, but I'll let you know how much, how long this one takes, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'll be back. Here's what the peanut butter bars look like after they're baked. These were baked for about 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven and I did use a darker pan uh, so you might want to adjust that according to your oven and the type of pan that you use um, these turned out terrific they are uh, soft sweet and peanut really peanut buttery uh, super yummy if you love peanut butter cookies this is the way to go you don't have to sit there and scoop out each cookie. Um, these are easy to slice up if you use the parchment paper. And a really sweet treat that you can work out of your pantry and some of your staple items. I hope you give this recipe a try. Please let me know if you do in the comments section below. Here's what the peanut butter bars look like sliced. They have a very rich peanut butter flavor and are moist and delicious. Please hit that subscribe button to receive notifications on future videos. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day.